mini adventure. So she's the, she's the, gonna be the real size. She's a sense. real Aussie. <laughs> yeah. They have so much energy. Oh, my gosh. oh it's <laughs> she's, it's unreal. They typically do, but I have a more mellow personality. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah, not me. Look at me. I come up. <laughs> <laughs> this one's like hell on this wheels like, like all the time. Yeah. I want it a little more low-key, so this is great for me. <laughs> she runs her energy when I need her to run it. She's hurting her brother. He's 100 pounds. Oh and know. and just a fireball. That's but that's, we were looking for a fireball there. Oh, she got a fireball. Yes. Yeah, we definitely. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I got a different kind of video than you're used to for those of that follow the channel and subscribe. Uh, a little bit something different other than my hot rod builds, my solar project, my e-bikes, all that fun stuff, all the cool projects I do on the channel. But uh, today's video is going to be a pretty quick one, interesting one. I've had a lot of requests from friends and uh, family and some neighbors and stuff to, to do a video um, on our new puppy. So some of our background is that my wife and I and my daughter, um, we've been fostering and uh, rehabilitating collies actually for about three decades now and uh, we've done eight or nine dogs I think we're up to kind of lose con after a while and we've had some major issues um, with some of the dogs that we've had that we've uh, rescued uh, the collies um, probably the reason why they ended up as a rescue were abandoned left in the streets or you know turned into a pound and uh, so so we got pretty good at reprogramming the little computer in their brains for different issues that they had. And uh, we got to the point where we're ready to retire. We wanted something a little smaller than a Collie, uh, but we just really like the herding breed and what they can do and uh, how they are around with kids and different animals. And their intelligence is just off the charts on some of these guys. But uh, we wanted something a little bit smaller, and we chose to uh, go with an Aussie this time. And uh, we hadn't had a puppy for a long time, uh, so at least we get the chance now to program this little computer right here from scratch, rather than reprogramming, you know, an older dog with issues and stuff. But uh, so this is Josie. Again, Josie's uh, 11 weeks old and she could do some amazing things, which I'll show you in the video. Um, I'll show you some different training techniques that we found to work. Um, as far as, you know, your basic commands like heel, sit, stay, and all that. And uh, what you do when you first get a pup. So please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my playlist. I've got up to 80 videos now, uh, pushing towards 2,000 subscribers on all my hot rod builds, e-bikes, solar projects, car restorations, diesel trucks, diesel engines, and, and all kinds of good stuff. So, RV remodel. So the first topic is, as soon as we brought her home, uh, we wanted to get her house trained so she's not crapping and peeing in the house. The first thing we did is set a timer on her phones and to have it go off every half hour um, to take her out and uh, go potty. And then also the tough thing is uh, getting up in the middle of the night, twice in the middle of the night. So I first started off getting up at like one in the morning, taking her out and then three and then six. Um, and then slowly we're progressing now over the last three weeks since we've had her four weeks um, to now it's just 3.30 in the morning and, uh, and 6.30. So we're almost getting to the point where we'll just increase that where she's sleeping through the night. So it's important. And I've seen some, some trainers, they say, take your, your puppy out every hour. Their bladder is so small that it doesn't work, at least it didn't work with her. So we did it every half hour, which is grueling, but you know, with all the training you're doing up front now with a puppy, if you do it right right now, um, you know, it's gonna last you 12, 13 years into the future. Uh, make the time investment. But yeah, there's times where I'm walking around like a zombie without sleep, my wife too, but uh, you know, we'll do this for a month or two, and then she'll be set for, for a decade or so. Hold the taking her 
around about every half hour. Now we're up to about an hour. Uh, we take her out every hour. And then after a while, you'll get to know her signals. Like now she's actually, she'll bark if she has to go outside uh, to go potty. And uh, I noticed uh, recently in the last few days, if she scratches the carpet, that means she needs to go take a dump outside. And, uh, and that's what we look for her characteristics on when she has to go to the bathroom. And then the other thing we do is about nine o'clock at night, we cut her off of the water. Um, she likes drinking a lot of water, which is very good. But at nine o'clock, we kind of trim that down a little bit. Uh, maybe in the middle of the night if she needs a wet whistle because we're in a very dry climate here in Colorado. Uh, take a couple sips before she goes back to bed. Um, the other thing that we're firm believers in is kennel training your dog. Uh, we have a kennel uh, that I'll show you. They want to see your house. So Josie likes her little house, her kennel. Put a little bone in there, she goes in. And, and then at night, I put a little bone in there so she has a little bit of something in her stomach while she sleeps. But she loves this little kennel. Huh? Our daughter loaned this. She had a puppy recently and grown out of it. And uh, well, I really like it. And I have a conventional kennel back there when she gets much bigger. And she is a full-size Aussie, not a mini. So we put her in there at night. And I like this because it has this flap on it. And then I just cover it, keep the drafts off her at night. Nice and warm in there. But that's like her wolf den. But the first night was hell. I mean, barking and scratching and yelling and wanting to get out. But eventually you just gotta grit your teeth and bear it. After about five, 10 minutes, she went on for about 10 minutes and then finally gave up. But she just loves it in here. And then we have some blankets. It's been really getting cold at night here in Colorado, sub-zero temperature, which has been a joy when I have to take her out two or three in the morning. But uh, yeah, just goes in and out. And uh, it's like her sanctuary. Um, don't have your dog train you uh, every time she barks that you're coming to get her out. But uh, just let her work it out for, uh, you know, it only takes maybe, in our case, with our other dogs, we've had five or 10 minutes and they eventually give up. And then after a while, they just love it. I mean, that's her wolf den, just like a pack of wolves in the den. Come on, what are you chewing on? What are you chewing on? It's in that little mouth of yours. So that's the biggest thing when you first get the puppy is, is to get them in and get them on a schedule. Uh, they like a routine, get the routine, same time you're gonna do this, take them to bed, same time get up in the morning. Uh, same time, feed them, try to get in a routine. Uh, they appreciate that. Okay, it's 3.30 in the morning, just to show you part of her routine every night. I'm half awake, so uh, excuse me for talking a little bit weird with a scratchy voice, but uh, 3.30 in the morning, she's 11 weeks in a couple of days now. I just wanted to show you the routine, but we have her crate or her kennel, we call it kennel the bottom of the steps uh, from our master bedroom so if she needs to go out in the middle of the night we can hear her fussing and take her out but so far so good haven't had that but on occasion maybe she won't feel good or got into something and ate some deer poop or something that might have upset her a bit she needs to go out in the middle of the night but uh, so far so good we'll increase the time uh, probably over the next week and a half and eventually uh, get her so next time she's up at 6 30 so hey Josie Puppy, is it time to get up? Time to go outside. Okay, let's go. Then her other dog, Rufus, sleeps in the laundry room at night. He's got a real nice bed over here, but sometimes he likes the nice cool tile to sit on. Plus, to get a kennel that big or a crate that big could be hard to do, but... Okay, Josie, come on, time to go back there. But man, she does great so far. There's Rufus's bed. And then we train all of our dogs to sit and stay so they're not bolting out the door. And she's doing really well with that too. Hey Josie, Josie. Oh, Rufus, I can't believe this wants to go out too. Ru Josie, sit, sit. All right, stay, stay, stay. The door's opening. Outside. Let's go. Usually Rufus doesn't even lift his head. 
this early in the morning, but maybe he needs to go to the bathroom too. So, and there she goes. We have a dog pen out here with a doggy door that goes into a little pen in the garage. So if it's too cold, they can go in there. But uh, yeah, she does really well. So this is part of her routine every night. So far, so good, fingers crossed. Josie, come on, come on, let's go. Okay, inside. Okay, let's go back to bed. Let's go back to bed, come on. And there's their feeding station. Again, I like getting her little bone here. And she goes back to bed. Come on, little dog. Come on, little dog. Let's go. Okay, back to bed. Go to bed. Come on. There you go. Oh man, 3.30 in the morning. So next time, and it's pretty quick. She's got it down, thank goodness. Most of our dogs have been like this. Okay, so next time for her would be 6.30 a.m. when everybody else is up. Take her out, she goes to the bathroom, and then it's, she's a ball of energy again for the day. And uh, ready to go like a little fireball she is. And uh, so I usually play a game of fetch. So I taught her how to play fetch now. She's got a ring she'll play with. I'll show you a little clip of that. Um, and then after that, feed her and it's ready to start the day again. All right, Rufus just came in. Rufus, bed. All right, good boy, good boy. Get your rest now. So Rufus, we've never used a kennel on him. First of all, he's pretty large, but uh, we rescued him uh, when he was like five years old, we estimated, and uh, he's done really well um, here. And he just likes sleeping in the mudroom, nice warm next to the furnace. And uh, again, we can hear him if he needs to go out. If he's fussing in the middle of the night, we can still hear him and uh, take him out. All right, the routine continues for Josie here. 6.30 a.m., still dark out with the time change. But uh, anyway, we've never had an accident in the kennel. If you size the kennel, just a little bit bigger than them. Uh, they don't like to, as they say, soil the kennel. But uh, not to say it couldn't happen. But we've been lucky so far. But uh, you'll notice the energy change here. In the morning, she's ready to get up and go to work on the ranch. So now she's back to being a fireball. Josie! Josie, come on! Oh, lots of energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you have a good night's sleep? Little dog. Yeah. We'll get her brother up. And her brother's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's Rufus. Oh no. He's like, another day with the puppy. Oh no, another day with the puppy. It's gonna wear me out. Josie. Okay. Let's go out. So we take her out. She goes to the bathroom. I usually pay fetch with her. And the tug of war a little bit, burn up some energy. Right. But... It's right. Okay, bring it here. Bring it here, right here. Come here, come here, bring it here, bring it here. Good, good girl, good girl. Okay, here's the ring. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come on. Okay, bring it here. Okay. Oh, this ring is so good. Give me the ring. I need the ring. I need a ring. Okay, let's see how. I'll lift you off the ground. Oh! And then be the strong. You need to be the alpha. I've seen so many dogs, especially in our neighborhood, shh, that uh, the dog's actually the alpha of the household. And it's really amazing to watch that they haven't been trained. The owners don't take command of the dogs. And uh, 
the dogs end up running the household, running them, pulling her arms out of the socket when they take them for a walk down the street and so on. So we see a lot of that happening. But especially the Aussies, um, they're known to manipulate their owners and, and all that good stuff. And uh, got to watch out for that. But you need to be the alpha, you need to be firm, uh, and you'll get, be rewarded uh, later on down the road with it big time. The second thing that we worked on is knowing her name. Um, dogs don't know their names. They know their name as a command. Yeah, lots of energy. They know their name as a command. So it's just basically their name like Josie is just like the command sit, stay, down. And Josie, and you see her doing it right now, means to look at me and await instruction. So as soon as you say, Josie, you get her attention, you have eye contact, <laughs> pretty amazing for 11 weeks. And then she awaits command, okay? So I'll show you how that works and how to get that done. I have a training pouch that has just regular dog food in it, but for training, I do 10, about 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, and 10 minutes in the evening. And Josie likes cheese cut up, so I just have some string cheese, cut it lengthwise, and then cut it in these little moons. And she just loves these. Again, 11 weeks old. But uh, let's see what she could do for us. Josie, sit. Good girl. Josie, down. Good girl. And then also, dogs don't know their names. They know it as a command. Like sit, down, whatever. So Josie is a command. You see when I say her name, she looks at me. I'll distract her a little bit. Josie, see how she looks up? That's exactly what you want. So I'll distract her again over here. Josie, that's exactly what you want. So how I did that is I had held the food at my chest, kept calling her name as she tracks the food, and eventually worked the food up to my face. So now when I say Josie, she looks up. And every time she does that, she gets a treat. And then after a while, you can alternate treats and just give her the command, give her some praise. But usually that works too. You don't want to give her treats all the time after she learns something. So I want her to follow the food. And so if we do a heel now, okay, ready, Josie? No, Josie, heel, come on, heel. She's following the food and then she looks up at me. Josie looks up, sit. So I want her healing on the left, and then when we stop, she sits. Josie, we'll get some more cheese. So we're training the dog to follow the food. Once you do that, you can do all kinds of tricks and everything. It's really cool. Josie, come on, she's following the food. Josie, heal, heal, come on, heal. Josie, heal, come on, heal, hurry up, heal, heal, heal. Heel, heel, and then stop and sit on your left hand side. Very good. Good girl. Okay, Josie, come here. Come here. Sit. Okay. Now again, following the food, Josie, spin. <laughs> Very good. Okay, the next thing I could do is I'll have to see how I could do this holding the camera, but I have her weaving in and out my legs. Uh, maybe I'll set up a tripod on the table to do this. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, good girl. Okay. Sit. Sit. Spin. Okay, now I took her to weave. So she's basically following the food, but eventually she won't pull the food, and then I'll just say the word weave, and then she'll start doing it. So, Josie, you ready to go? Okay, Josie, weave. Come on, she's following the food. We, we be nice. Here you go. Good girl. So you see she's following the food. Once you do that, you can get them to do all kinds of stuff. Again, 11 weeks old, she's doing all this stuff. So I have another command that I use that I learned from a neighbor up the street about a month ago. And that's to, instead of saying come, do the word touch. And she'll come running at you. Um, so it's a good distraction. So how I train her to do this is I have a piece of cheese in my hand, in my palm. And she's already trying to do it. And then I just come up to her nose and bump it because they have a lot of nerve endings in the nose and then give her the treat. And then take another piece 
Josie, sit, stay, and then come a little bit further away and put the cheese in my palm. Again, touch. And just keep doing that. I started doing this a couple weeks ago to the point where now, get some more cheese here. Okay, Josie, stay. Stay there. So regardless of what she's doing, anytime I give her that command, she comes running. I mean, she could be playing with other dogs and just a word really gets her attention. Josie, touch. And she bumps my hand and gives her a treat. Josie, sit down. Good girl. Works really good. Give that a shot. I think she loves frisbee. Can't wait till she can catch it in here. Josie wants a frisbee. Oh, okay. Here you go. Oh, this is my frisbee. This is my frisbee. This is my frisbee. Precious. Precious. Yeah. This is this is this is my frisbee. This is my frisbee. Precious. She loves to play tag of war. It burns up a ton of energy. With Australian Shepherds, you really need to burn up the energy. If you don't, they're going to drive you nuts and they'll probably just end up destroying stuff if they don't have a job to do. So, so we do tug of war probably twice a day, three times a day. So I'm working on putting a treat in front of her and having her not touch it until I give the command okay to get it. Leave it. Leave it, leave it. Okay, go get it. So we're working on that one. That's gonna take a little bit longer for further distances. I'd like to leave the room and then give her a command that she can have it. Okay, Josie, jump, jump, jump. There you go, good girl, good girl. This is Josie's selection of toys that she likes and she loves her donut. It's got a squeaky thing in it. And I got her the Kong ball. This is really cool. And sometimes to keep her occupied, I'll put peanut butter in the end, just a little bit of peanut butter. You can put it in the freezer and then she'll just spend a half hour licking the peanut butter out of the middle of the hole. And then the Kong ball, she likes the Kong ball. And it's got a squeaky thing in it. If I can step on it. Watch out. That drives her nuts. And she likes her hot dog, and then she likes her squid. I think this is made by Kong. We picked this up at a Murdoch's, and she likes playing tug of war on it. Again, an Australian Shepherd, if you're not ready for the energy, it's just constant all day long. You really got to burn them out. Fortunately, she has our big 100 pound collie to play with. and plenty of deer in the backyard and all kinds of stuff to keep her occupied and burn her out. As far as the house training and uh, destruction from a little puppy chewing on everything and destroying everything, when we have her in the house, we have her on a leash. And the only time she's not on a leash is when I'm doing training or my wife's doing training and she is in her kennel. Um, but uh, what we did is we have a leash and then we have another old leash that we wrap around the leg of the kitchen table and uh, use the little clasp and that's where she's tied down, tethered down while she spends time and we're working in the kitchen cooking and doing stuff. But uh, she's quite used to it, has a nice little bed, little chew bone and she's good to go. And we've actually done this too with our rescue foster dogs um, that weren't house trained older dogs, three, four years old and such and have done that with them and works very well same process until they can prove that themselves that they are house trained and aren't going to destroy everything mostly destroy everything with the puppies but the older dogs don't do that much of it but uh works really well so i just brought her in and uh we need to set a timer i usually just do it on my watch but at times we'll use alexa if you have an alexa which i have here um they also have the echo clock that's up there on the wall, which works really well. 
So I'm at about 45 minute in intervals right now with her. So I'll say uh, in our wake up word uh, for Alexa is actually echo. Echo, set timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. And there's our timer on the wall. I'll put the Amazon link in the description for the echo clock. It's like 28 bucks, but uh, we use it for time and when we're cooking and stuff, but it's great for the dog too. This is our training pouch we use when I'm out on a long leash, doing some training with her. And it's got her dog food in it. It's got some little bones, so I like alternating the, the treats a little bit. It's got a handy clip. I'll put the Amazon link in the description for all the stuff that we're using here. But it just clips on my belt, makes it handy. And then I have a assortment of little bones, bigger bones, from our local farm and tractor ranch supply place, Murdoch's here in Colorado. So tend to use the little bones. So I alternate between treats, keeps her busy. All right, since we get to program a dog from scratch rather than reprogramming a rescue dog, Josie, sit, stay. So start them off earlier so they're not bolting out the door. When you open up the door, you better stay, stay, good girl, stay. Josie, and then open the door, stay. Josie, outside. Go ahead out. Now she gets to play with Rufus, her big brother. Rufus is a 100 pound red sable collie and he is a rescue. We got him about four or five years ago and uh, with his training issues, uh, social skills and so on. Now he's just a wonderful dog and taking care of his little sister. Rufus, come here, come, sits. Plot, blibe. <laughs> what a distraction. Look at the distraction. He just takes it. Plot, blibe. Broffer, broffer. Here you go. Here's a treat. But man, he's probably lost five pounds in the last three or four weeks we've had her. And they just keep playing all day long. And again, that helps burn her out and then gets him moving too. And he's. We think he's about 10 or 11 years old now. And uh, again, a red sable collie with a blue eye. So in the corner of the shop in the garage uh, where I'm working on my videos, here she comes, comes in. Come on, Josie. Okay. Um, this was really easy to do. I just blocked off a little corner and these came from Home Depot, these fence sections. You could buy them at Home Depot. I don't know if Lowe's has them, but uh, Home Depot had them. And this is a six by six panel, and then another six by six panel they had uh, with, with the door in it. So basically up the latch and uh, go in and out. And uh, it just sits on the floor, just anchored on the wall in a couple spots here with a couple anchors down below. And then over, over there on, on the other side. But it works great. We've had this installed now for Heck, since probably 2001. A lot of dogs through here, a lot of foster dogs that we placed with uh, nice families, the collies. And uh, we got some signs. But uh, looks like I need to get an Aussie sign now. Maybe put it right here, Aussie territory or something instead of the collie stuff. So I'll have both collie and the Aussie signs up. And there's Josie. So since we've had so many collies, uh, this is my wife's picture that I got her for Christmas one year. It's Timmy with Lassie and uh, from 1954, 1974. And this was signed by John Provost, was the actor who played Timmy. I had the chance to sit next to June Lockhart who played his mom in Lassie on a flight back from Los Angeles one time. That was really nice. But uh, just a little bit of trivia as far as collies go, real long noses, Aussies have a short nose. Uh, but the, all the lassies that were in the series, I think it was like eight seasons, uh, were all male collies, even though it's lassie. They weren't females. Females are smaller than the males in the herding breed, like the collies and like our Aussie. We wanted a little bit smaller dogs, so we got a female. But uh, there were eight male collies that played lassie throughout all the TV series. So this picture hangs in the entranceway of our house. Um, I thought this was pretty neat. We saw this at a gift shop at Mount Rushmore. Um, and it's a 
tri collie which we've had like three of those um, and my wife's uh, a farm girl from Iowa uh, born and raised on a dairy farm with Holstein cows so we definitely could not pass up this picture so Josie loves riding in the back of the Jeep so I take her about every day for a ride we go to Home Depot she rides around a shopping cart and I'm a big believer in socializing your dog and getting all the little kids hugging on her and people at the store and she does that on a daily basis and then she has a chance to play with the other puppies and stuff other dogs in the neighborhood that are vaccinated now she's had her second set of vaccinations about uh, three or four days ago. To be real careful, I don't take her to the dog park, no paws on the ground. So she rides around in a shopping cart at the store, either the tractor supply store or Lowe's or Home Depot. But she likes riding back here and then she likes playing with her puppy friends in the neighborhood. And how I contain her, I have a tether here that I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. But it's really cool. It's got elastic on it, stretches, but it keeps her kind of contained. Here's another one, and it's got the hook on the end for her collar. And then I have the little connector on the end that goes in any seatbelt of a car. Pretty, pretty amazing. So just take your uh, end here, clip it in the seatbelt. So if the dog's riding in the front, you want to keep her contained a bit. And it is adjustable. Just snap it in the seatbelt and put the other end on her collar and you got her contained a bit. And then I like putting a couple toys back here with her and then I like these little chew bones so that keeps her occupied and eventually when we're riding she goes to sleep anyway and takes a nap. I like these Apple Air Tags. There's one on her collar. So this is the Apple Air Tag um, that's on her collar and uh, like I said the Air Tags are amazing but this is like the little silicon uh, little holder for it. It goes right over her collar. So this is what the application looks like on my phone. I hit the Find Me app, and I could see uh, the maps on where the dogs are at. So Rufus is at home right now, and Josie is with me. But if I hit Josie's little doggy icon, it says Josie is with you right now. I could play the sound, if you could hear that, so if the dog's is close, uh, or the cat, or whatever you got it on, you can locate it that way. And then I could also get directions. So say if I need directions to where Rufus is at, and then I can hit directions. And it takes me two different routes on how to get back to Rufus at our house. So very cool. For 26 bucks for an Apple Air tag, I'll put the Amazon link in the description. Can't beat it. So here's Josie going in the cart. We're going to our local farm and ranch supply store here, Murdoch's in Colorado. It's good for the dogs to get socialization. Everybody petting and hugging on her, kids coming up and asking if they could pet her. So it's good for her. But I have her in the cart because uh, she hasn't had her third series of vaccinations yet. So, so once she has that, then she can uh, hit the ground uh, running. Hi. Hi, you want your biscuit. Yeah, she's about doubled in size in the last two weeks. She's 11 weeks old. Is she really? Ozzy, and uh, we got her when she was eight weeks, and she's doubled in size already. She's so cute. What's her name? Josie. Josie. And Josie likes the chicks here. Look at the chicks. What's with the chicks? I've seen some of the ranchers that actually teach these dogs how to herd. They'll put them out with the chickens and the ducks, and that's how the puppies learn how to herd and get their skills even further than what she has.
plans for Josie is to get her into agility training. And uh, our neighbor a few doors over actually has an indoor, outdoor, nighttime, all lit up agility training center, which is very cool. So uh, once she gets her third set of third series of vaccinations, uh, she's going to be enrolled in uh, agility training here. And we'll see how she does. So appreciate you watching. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Leave in the comments. Hit the like button if you want to see more videos on Josie. Otherwise, I might just go back to my hot run and stuff. But I think this is a pretty cool project. My wife does too. And uh, make an initial investment here that uh, she should last us uh, you know, over a decade. So thanks for watching.